Good morning students. Hope you all are safe at your place. Today I am going to explain you second part of chapter rotation and revolution. As you know in the previous video I have explained you about rotation. Now today I am going to explain you revolution. What is revolution? What are the interesting facts about revolution? So today we will discuss about this. Before going to explain, just tell me, I think you all are enjoying rainy season. So I have a question for you kids. How seasons are caused? Like there are different seasons, summer, winter, autumn, etc. So how these seasons are caused? Seasons are caused due to revolution. So first I am going to explain you what is revolution. What is the meaning of revolution? Revolution means when the earth moves around the sun. That is known as revolution. Now next is what are the interesting facts about revolution of the earth? There are some major interesting facts that you should know about the revolution of the earth. So let's learn one by one. What is the first interesting fact? The first interesting fact is we know when the earth moves, earth moves around the sun. So this motion is called revolution. But we have to learn one more thing. When the earth moves around the sun, earth not only revolve even while revolving while moving earth also moves on its own axis earth moves on its own axis from west to east in a short or in, in a simple way i want to explain that rotation and revolution both motions that simultaneously going on. When the earth is moving around the sun, this is called revolution. So while moving around the sun, the earth also rotating. So both motions simultaneously takes place. So this is the first interesting fact. Now what is the second interesting fact that you all know about duration? Or we can say period. So, when earth moves around the sun, how much earth completes one revolution period? Earth completes one revolution in 365 days and 6 hours. So this is about the period or duration when earth takes complete round around the sun. When it completes one revolution period, earth takes 365 days and 6 hours. So this is about the second fact about the revolution of the earth. What is the third fact, interesting fact about the revolution of the earth? You should know that this is the fixed path. This one. This is the fixed path on which the earth is moving around the sun. So what we call this path, fixed path on which the earth moves around the sun. Yes, this path is called orbit. Orbit, a fixed path on which the earth moves around the sun. Now, the fourth interesting fact is about the revolution of the earth is what is the shape of the orbit? So, what is the shape of the orbit? The shape of the orbit is elliptical. What is the shape of the orbit? That is elliptical. So, the shape Shape of the orbit is not circular. What is the shape of the orbit is elliptical. So when we'll see 
द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द अर्थ एंड द सन इज नॉट सेम एवरीवेयर इन दिस ऑर्बिट वेन अर्थ इज इन द वेस्ट साइड ऑफ द सन द डिस्टेंस इज लेस एंड वेन अर्थ कम्स टूवर्ड द ईस्ट साइड ऑफ द सन द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द अर्थ एंड द सन विल बी मोर सो हेयर वी कैन से the distance between the earth and the sun is not same everywhere so this is the another fact the shape of the orbit is elliptical so according to this fact there is one more fact which you have to learn here when earth lies in the west of the sun so here we can say the distance is less so which term we will use when earth come closer to the sun that is perihelion this is very very important term perihelion perihelion is when the earth and sun very near to each other or the distance between the sun and the earth is less peri means near and helion word stands for sun this is the one term another is now see in the same point fifth as i have told you perihelion when the earth come closer to the sun that is called perihelion and the opposite is aphelion when the earth far away from the sun when earth moves to the east side of the sun in this orbit so here the earth moves farthest from the sun so that which term we will use for this aphelion peri means near helion word stands for sun ap word stands for far and helion word stands for sun so this is the position of the earth and the sun when it is near perihelion term will be used when it is far then aphelion term will be used another thing is now what is the distance between the earth and the sun when it come closer here the distance is 146 million kilometer and when earth goes away from the sun means when at the time of aphelion when the earth moves far away from the sun what will be the distance here 151 million kilometer so this is about the position of the earth in some part it comes closer and in some part it goes far away from the sun so this is the another interesting fact now another thing is related to this diagram only hope you have heard about the six fact hope you have heard about kepler's law of planetary motion Johannes Kepler was a famous mathematician astronomer was a german mathematician astronomer who explained that when earth come closer to the sun means at the time of perihelion the speed of earth will be fast and when the earth far away from the sun at the time of aphelion the speed of earth will be slow now what is the reason that the speed of earth is fast when it come closer to the sun it's all depend on the gravitational force so when earth come closer to the sun the gravity gravitational attraction will be more so speed of earth will be faster when earth goes far away from the sun the gravitational gravitational attraction will be less so speed will be less in next video i am going to explain the effects of revolution thank you students have a nice day